Welcome to Nerd on Nerd with me, Ellie Campster. And me, Liam Underwood. In this episode, oh, it's all doom and gloom. We're talking about the end of the fucking world. But uh, let's have some fun before we get to that by catching up with Ellie and Liam. Catch me up. Uh, okay. Uh, I, Liam, went to visit you last weekend. Yeah, but let's, let, why don't we sort of start at the beginning? Okay. Oh, God, because there was... Yeah. I've done it, we've done it twice, haven't we, in the same yeah. that period of time? So two weeks Liam, ago. Liam, <laughs> two weeks ago. Yeah. We went, we met up. It was very uh, spontaneous. It was like one of the sunniest days we'd had in a while. Well, it was meant to England's, be. After England's blizzard. Yeah, it was definitely meant to be. It was, until like halfway through the day. Yeah. But we met up, and Liam has, since Liam's been to Canada, listeners, he has been on a real activity kick. He wants to get out of that house, he wants to explore Britain. And everyone loves it. Everyone is, we're all just so happy to be dragged into this. Yep, except no one really likes it. I liked the first one, and I liked the second one. I just, you know, there are certain issues with it. I don't know if Kat did. I think Kat enjoyed the first one. Yeah, Okay. Did she not? She might not have. No, she did. I, I found it a bit boring. Of course she did. You're so broken. Um. So we met up yeah. and went for a walk. Real in... last minute, like literally the yeah, day before. Literally, yeah. I was like, ah, oh, really good weather tomorrow. Let's not waste it. And you you had wild plans, if I remember rightly. Did I? Yeah, you were going to spend the day tidy in your bedroom. Yeah, and then I was like, this is the perfect excuse not to do that again. Yep. <laughs> You're so welcome. So I did that. Thank you. Uh, I don't know if I should thank you, because I really need to clean this room. Have you still not done it? Uh, when would I have done it, Liam? I don't know. Um, the week after. I, d- I tried. And by tried, I mean I cleared a bunch, and it still needs cleaning. That's how bad this room is. Yeah, so we went for a walk in a forest. Yeah. Uh, followers of our, follow- our followers on Twitter might have seen some photos of Liam sitting inside little tiny wooden yurt things with me. Yeah, we got some correspondence about that to be read out. In a later oh, section exciting. of the show called Housekeeping. Uh, yeah, so we did a did a walk. Cat and Liam didn't bring water because they're amateur, you know, countrysiders. They um, live in the countryside, but they don't know how to sort of survive it. It was like a tiny little walk that you didn't really need water for. But I wasn't thirsty at the end of it, Liam. Neither was I. Well, believe it when I see it. You did see it. I saw the first signs of dehydration, mate, is what I saw. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so, I don't know, it was a walk... We, but exactly, that's the thing. We did a walk. We we went to this place called Alice Holt Forest, and we just did a walk. It was yeah. Fine. I mean, it was your idea, mate. Yeah, I know. It was good to get out, and it was good to be a bit active. But it was just a walk. Like I do love how I do love how quickly that swapped though, because you were like, I didn't really enjoy it. Whatever. And the moment I said it was your idea, you're like, yeah, it was like you know the the core of it was good. It was just yeah, the boring I mean, bit. It was my idea. I'll admit that. Um, it rained halfway through the walk, which was less than an idea. It wasn't. It wasn't like a crazy downpour, though. It was raining, which is annoying. When yeah. You're out without yeah, yeah. protection, but it wasn't like pissing down. No, but the, the the thing is, it was a walk, and I think I was making this point at the time. Like, it wasn't really like like when you do a, a walk. I don't know. Let's just use a random example, like Canada, for example. Oh my fucking god! You've yeah. always got the the oh, the potential of maybe coming face to face with like an elk. Whereas here, I think the most exciting bit was when a girl cycled past and then her mum cycled past. And the girl looked like she was having a great time and the mum looked like she hated everything. Yeah, but you can see animals here still. I don't know. I don't get... Like, you could see a deer. Deer are pretty fucking we impressive. We didn't see a deer. No, but we, you might not have seen an elk. No, I just... Nah. You can see that's deer a, No, I'm just Canada. saying that's a redundant comparison. You're saying you've got the chance of seeing an elk in Canada. And, and I'm saying you've got deer. the chance of seeing a deer in, in England. Yeah. Well, I, I, whatever. Um, I just, it was a walk, you know. We walked in a big circle, and along the way, we sat in some little yeah things, and we went to a lake and looked at it, and then walked away. Yeah, it wasn't great, Liam. It was alright. It was fine. Yeah. So then, continuing this sort of binge of activity that Liam's on, uh, he was like, "Hey, we've got bank holiday coming up. Do you want to come down? We'll go for a bike ride." Well, I think, I think we, we discussed this on the podcast when we had Sam on, didn't we? Yeah, yeah, I think we had mentioned it. Yeah, I think, I think this isn't new news to listeners if they're regular. I think no, we have fine, mentioned. Yeah. Just catching new people up, Liam. Yeah, okay. We went for a bike ride. Yeah. We didn't see how long the bike ride was. Well, it, again, 
it, it was another one of those things that not quite as spontaneous, but definitely not particularly planned. I mean, it, so it, it was a bad sign, listeners, when the morning of... Was it the morning of the bike ride? Yeah. It was, wasn't it? Yeah. So I came down from the spare room upstairs. Not really a spare room, it's a study, but I sleep in there. It's my office. It's Liam's office, and I sleep on an inflatable bed that is now broken. Yeah, you broke it. I did not break it. Well, you're the only one that slept on it. It's because you would leave it in a cupboard. It's, event- it's always, it was inevitably going to eventually break. Well. Anyway... After my night of sleeping on a deflating airbed, yeah, uh, I came downstairs and Liam said, I don't really know what we're doing. <laughs> I sent Kat the links a while ago and Kat hadn't planned it because, yeah. you know, it was Liam's idea. Yeah. Uh, and Liam suddenly had this sort of moment of realisation that maybe he should have actually looked into it. It all worked out quite well in the end. It did. It did. Like we got there, to... were, there were a couple of moments where it looked like it was all going to go tits up, but it didn't. Yeah, like we got to where we needed to go in quite good time. We managed to hire bikes without having to like pre-book them or anything. Yeah. The, the only, mm, you know, not even regret, but like if I could do something different uh, at the bike hire place, they gave us two different like trails that we could follow, and I didn't realise that they were two different trails. So yeah, one of them sounded so much more exciting than the other one. Like one of them. You went past a deer reserve. You went past this place called the Deadwoods. And on the map, there was a little skull. And that just looked delightful. Uh, and then there's another one, which you kind of just go through, like, a wooded area. There wasn't, like, a lot to see along the way, I don't think. No. I, I, I know that you're excited about going again, right? And, like, doing the other trail. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I do want you to temper your expectations. Because I've been to the New Forest a few times. And the fact that you described the first one as just a wooded area and you've described the second one as this sort of exciting, fantastical journey into something that sounds, quite frankly, a little bit like Narnia. There's a deer Um, reserve. Yeah, it's just going to be more woods and then you're going to get to a bit that's called the deer reserve and you're probably not going to see any deer because they're quite skittish and don't come near people and will be on bikes making a lot of noise. Yeah. Um, The dead woods is just dead trees. It's not like an exciting Yeah, but I can do a photo shoot. This is the thing, listeners, that annoys me the most about doing these days with Liam, is you don't get, like, natural photos. You don't just have a day and then come out at the end and go, oh, look, here's some nice photos of us riding. What you get is, about every 20 minutes, Liam going, hey, um, do you want a photo here to Cat? <laughs> and then him, like, riding ahead, positioning himself, then Cat having to ride down and, yeah. so that Liam could get these photos. It's ridiculous. Yeah. It's I hate good. it. It's good. Um... But yeah, I out of the two, I much preferred the bike ride. It was a lot more active. Yeah, I, I, I preferred the bike ride as well. Yeah, it was... One, it was a lot more active. Two, you cover a lot more ground, a lot quicker, obviously. Um, and it was just it was just more fun. It was, it was more different. Like, I walk every single day. I don't bike ride every day. The only issue with the bike ride, Liam, is that you have been working out for... Oh, here we go. Here no, we what? go. This is... I. This isn't. I, this isn't an insult to you. It's this like is the, insane, the only listeners. issue. Everyone thinks. Everyone thinks that I'm really mean to Liam. This because is why, because he gets so defensive about everything I say. I mean, you started Liam, it with the only yeah, issue. Yeah, the only issue with the bike ride is that I wasn't fit enough to do 11 miles on a bike. Yeah, but I and I was mean... going to say you've been working out with a personal trainer and you've gotten quite fit, so I... you managed to do the bike ride and you were doing really well. Like you didn't get particularly exhausted in it you were at one point helping cat by riding back and getting her bike like yeah. this isn't an insult to you liam i was saying you're fit yeah but this is the, this is the thing right because now you stop speaking give... defensively no now you're gonna give Just the calm listeners down. you're giving the listeners these unrealistic expectations because you say i i'm fit and i'm doing all this sort of stuff and maybe like comparatively yeah okay but if uh, I... listeners can you if... if you listeners if you ride 11 miles on a bike regularly can you um, just message in and tell me how average that is? Because I think for most of us, that would be fairly difficult. I'm just saying, comparatively to people that are actually fit, I would I would be struggling to keep up. I think you're using fit the wrong way. Fit doesn't... You're, I think you're thinking of, like, buff, hulking men. Zac Efron. Yeah, that's not fit. Like, imagine like... me trying to catch up to Zac Efron on a bike. Yeah, but that's not fitness, Liam. You're fit in that you are working out and can, you know, not get exhausted climbing upstairs. Well, yeah. That's fit. Well, it's, it's... It's the stage in between obesity and, like, bodybuilder. Right in the middle there is fit. 
Would you say that? I don't know if that's that, if fit is yeah. in the middle. Surely, like average would be in the middle. I think average is fit. I think most people are fit. Yeah, maybe. I'm just. just I, I don't want it to like, come across to the lazy. listeners like I'm this. You know. Yeah. No. Trust me, Mr. Liam. When motivator. I said you're fit, that, no one was sitting there thinking, "God, what's happened to Liam? He must be this muscle-bound god now." Well, that's. I don't think anyone thought that when I said you're fit. Well, that's that's just. I wanted to make that clear. Yes, I think it's apparent. People saw Good. the photos on Twitter. Well, yeah, some of them did. Anyway, that's the only problem I had was that it was a little bit long. There weren't any reason. Like I'd have enjoyed. I think I'd have enjoyed stopping in the middle with like a, like we saw people doing picnics or going to a pub or something. Yeah, and that's the other thing about that other route is there's a restaurant like so not half, about, about three quarters of the way through that you could stop. Yeah. And yeah, I mean. The, the, so here's, here's the thing the route that we did was 11 miles I think the other one's something like 14 yeah so it's a, it's a bit further but I think there's more there's potentially going to be more to do along the way yeah which I'm fine with because that's that's the stuff I, I like going out for like a whole day and being out in nature it's not particularly the like how you're getting around that matters to me yeah I just like being out in nature and doing shit so I'm not really a big fan of being out in nature but yeah I know I noticed there's a massive difference between the way me and you want to do these days what do you mean? Well, you want to go out and do, like, the 11 miles of biking and be like, yeah, we did it. Yeah. I want to be like, let's go look at all the cool nature. But the, it was just trees. To be fair, no. Right, out of, the, out of the two of us, who's the one that lumbered off into the trees off the course to, to get a oh, was video? was that to like... experience nature? It wasn't, it wasn't so that you could impersonate Bigfoot. <laughs> it was, but I mean... That was, the, that was the mistake I've made then, Liam, because I, I distinctly... I must have been... I was very tired. I must have imagined it. I thought you said, Cat, look at that tree over there. Can you record me being Bigfoot? Yeah. That's what I thought I heard. I must have been wrong. Yeah, exactly. But, you know, get into that tree. I saw some nature. Did you end up posting that video, by the way? No, nah, I don't think it came out very well. Oh, that's a shame. But, um... I'm just saying, like, if you wanted to see nature, there was no point where you were like, "Should we go and look at nature?" I mean, that is difficult when you've got you on your bike. Sort of I, I often around, was behind, and and cat who very clearly was not enjoying most of the experience. Oh, so you're going to blame cat now? It's not a blame on cat. I think cat would agree with me that she definitely didn't want to be in there any longer than we had to be. Yeah, I think she she'd agree with that. Yeah, I'm not blaming cat. Well, yeah, I mean, I I I'd have been up for kind of. Going a little bit sort of uh, what's the word like off off the beaten path, but the pro- maybe... that, but the problem with doing it on bikes is you. No, can't that's what I was going to say. Not not on, like maybe leave the bikes to the side and then go off exploring. But then, you, but then you're leaving rented bikes out, which is not a good idea. We had like locks. We could have. You could <laughs> yeah. We had like bike locks. You can't like tie it to a tree with a bike lock. Ah, uh, I don't know. I'm just saying, we could have. Okay. <laughs> Um, uh, and what else did we do at the weekend, Liam? Well, we skipped over, I think, quite an important part of the first adventure we did in in Alice Holt Forest. Oh, okay, which bit? Uh, after the walk, when we went to get some uh, pub grub. Yep. And uh, we 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 you know we looked up some some local pubs, found one that had ah oh, such a appetising menu. I oh, was so excited. So, you know, we, we got in our respective cars and we drove there. The start wasn't brilliant. The, the guy behind the bar was really rude to you. The guy behind the bar was very rude to me. I can't remember exactly what he said, can you? Uh, I said, I said, oh, can, I I, can, I, can I grab A? And then he said, no, you yeah. can't grab, you can have. And I was like, at first I was like, okay, that's kind of funny. You know, I'll accept, I like that kind of humour. I'll go with it. This sounds like a but funny he, laugh. It wasn't like he was being jokey jokey. No, no, that's what I mean. Like, the first time it sounded like the kind of thing that someone would say if they were being jokey jokey. Yeah, 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 yeah. But then it was when I then said, ha ha, okay, I'll have a Coke and a... And he went, well, wait for me to pour the first one. Yeah. And I was like, oh, okay, this isn't a man being funny. This is a man who is randomly annoyed at me. Yeah, yeah, he, he was a bit of a dick. Yeah, a little bit of a dick. I'll admit, I maybe antagonised the situation a little bit. You did. I thought it was funny. It wasn't. Because he was so clearly annoyed. <laughs> So I jumped in, and what I what I figured out really quickly is he was annoyed if you spoke over him or asked him a question or didn't really listen to him, so I just did all of those things. Yep, yep, that's for you, Liam. I kept asking him where the menus were and if we could just go and grab a table. I think I asked him two questions in quick succession, and he did no, not he like did. that. No, he didn't. 
It was brilliant. But so we, we got our drinks. We went and sat down. We were told that the menus were going to come out in like, say, half an hour because the kitchen needed a little break. When we got the menus, they, they were sparse, weren't they? Well, I don't agree with you on this bit. So you can make your point here, but don't drag me into it. Okay, so the menu that we saw online looked delightful. And when we got there, there was maybe like five dishes and none of them were what I wanted because I had like a... Look, listeners, right. I know I'm glad you realised how that was sounding. I know you've you, been you here, You know listeners. how this is going to sound when you tell everyone, so you had to go, listeners, oh, shit, yeah. Listeners, I know you've been here. You've got a craving for a specific food. We've all been there, and nothing but that food can satisfy that craving. Now, I'm going to tell you something. On that day, I had a craving for pie, and I saw online that this place did pie, so I was so excited. And then when we get there... Navi a pie to be found. The, the menu was barren of pies. Right? Can I, can I, can I just throw in a, like, a little example for the listeners as well? Yeah. So you, you've, all been, you've all been in that situation that Liam said. The whole, I've got a craving and nothing will fill it. Yeah, yeah. Except the craving. Now, listeners, picture that you're there with your friend who doesn't give a shit, who you call fussy a lot of the time, uh, and then imagine having the balls to say to that person... We're going to a different pub because they don't have a pie on the menu. <laughs> all right, there's another thing going on here as well. Where Kat yes, was... all right. Now, yeah, oh, now you're going to use Cat as a like. Cat <laughs> did. Cat no. wanted to leave because she was annoyed at the man. She was livid though, wasn't she? She was very angry. Cat gets very angry if people are rude, which is understandable. Yeah, I mean, you'd think after dating me for however long, she'd be more used to it, but nah. Yeah, but she she gets annoyed when me and you are rude. Yeah, exactly. We got told off for arguing in a pub. <laughs> we did. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I mean, it, it is like, I mean, I don't want to just sort of throw this out here because I know there's a lot of weight behind what I'm about to say. So I want the listeners to realise that I've actually considered these words and I've chosen them very carefully. Okay. It is like dating a mini Hitler. <laughs> Jesus, yeah. That's all I'm saying. It um, is. I mean, you can see what I have to go through, right? Oh, wait, sorry, you were saying that about Cat? Yeah. Oh, sorry, oh. <laughs> I genuinely thought you were being very honest about yourself there. No, 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 sorry, 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 yeah. Like, Got you. Yeah, 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 yeah. See, because that's, that's weird, because after having a Saturday where we went to two different restaurants because you wanted to go to them, this is a separate day, listeners, to the pub that Liam made us leave to go to a different one. This is this Saturday, where Liam was having a cheat day from his diet, oh, and so basically good. wouldn't let anyone have any input on where we went. And then at the end of the day, when we raised the fact that we hadn't had a say, Liam said, well, you didn't say anything. <laughs> Which is true. If... Which wasn't true. No. We definitely said throughout the day, different things. No, if I, if someone had said, uh, I want to do this instead, I'd have definitely, I, definitely now, considered Liam, it. Let me, let me take your mind back to Friday evening. Yeah. As you sat in Muchos Nachos. Yeah. As we do. Yeah. And I believe your words to Kat were, I'm having Chinese tomorrow. <laughs> Nothing can stop me. It's my cheat day. I'm having Chinese. <laughs> yeah. I distinctly remember that conversation. And wasn't the Chinese banging? It's all right. I don't think it's as good as you and Kat think it is. Yeah, but it is this the thing. It isn't, though. It is. If any listeners want to dispute this, right, you're welcome to come with us. And we'll I was going to say, what, what, no, we'll what take listeners you to the do we have look, in honestly, no, Any listeners, like Amanda, you're welcome to fly over. Me and Kat will take you for the best Chinese you've had. Probably. You will have to sleep on a deflating airbed. Yep. Yep. Um, anyway, so yeah, back to the first weekend. Um, so after we had that horrible experience at the pub without the pie, we then went a little bit sort of um, off-road if you will. Oh, Jesus, yeah. To the next pub. Um, I had a lamb roast in the end. Yeah, it was. I will admit that the second pub was nice. It just it, would have been nice was, if we'd gone there first. It was nice. It was worth changing. Well. But they didn't have the pie that I wanted. Yeah, no, exactly. Yeah, they didn't have a pie. So I had a, a shoulder of lamb and it was delicious. I was really happy. But nothing would fill his craving for a pie, though. Oh, and then I had an eaten mess and neither you or Kat wanted dessert. So you just sort of sat there just watching me eat. <laughs> yep. Which Liam I, does that too, listeners. I, I actually don't mind, to be honest. No, I, I don't think anyone 
you you know when you eat the dessert and no one else has a dessert. Yeah. It's not it's not your it, you you aren't meant to mind it because you're getting a dessert. Obviously, you don't mind it. Yeah. You're meant to be worried about what other people think. What do you mean? Well, you see, you made two people wait around while you eat dessert, and I think we've spoken about on here how slowly you eat. Not desserts, though. Dessert you did eat fast. There we go. Thank you very but much. But still, you know, made everyone sit around for however long. Don't worry about it. So, yeah, um, the, the latest weekend, so we did the new voice cycling. Then I had a cheat day. We went to a burger place that was amazing. I had three helpings of chicken skewers all to myself. It was so yeah, good. Yeah, too many. Too many for one person. And then I had a massive burger, which I nearly finished. But it didn't quite. It didn't quite. I was smart. I was like, if I finish this, that's going to be bad news. Uh, and then we had a Chinese, and it was just lovely, wasn't it? It was all right. And we played some board games. The board games were good. Yeah. Uh, so I, I, in between all that, I have been up to something else I would like to quickly talk about. Okay. I started swimming. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. You did. You on one of the days that I was down while I was asleep, you went for a swim. Yeah. This. So this is completely new to me. Uh, well, not completely. I haven't swam in over fifteen years. That's quite a long time. Until two weeks ago when I went for my very first swim, which was terrifying. Terrifying? So, I can't see too good without my glasses on. Right, yeah. And I don't like being in that sort of environment where, like, there's a lot going on and I can't, like, read, like, signs on the walls or, like, I don't know, like, I can't make out people's faces. So I'm always paranoid that I'm swimming and I'm trying to, like, I'm trying to not stare at someone, but I'm also trying to figure out, like, where they're looking, like, if I need to get out of their way that sort of thing yeah so it just yeah like the whole experience like was a bit scary um and i learned some stuff has changed since i last went swimming well it might be specific to this pool no no i mean with my body oh got you so what's what's changed well 15 years ago how old are you you're 30 15 years ago you were mid puberty liam so i imagine a fair amount changed yeah did you have a moment in the pool where you looked down and you went i'm hairy now well this thing when i put my trunks on like, as we've discussed on the podcast before, I manscape, so it's generally kept under control. But I put my trunks on, and there was still, like, stuff poking out. When you say trunks, do you mean, like, speedos? No. What did, What were you wearing? Like, swimming trunks. Like, bo- like, like short shorts. Sorry, where was, where was stuff poking out? The waistband. Yeah. I, I, I was confused. Are you wearing... How low down... What? I don't know, I may, maybe I wear them lower than I wear, like, I don't know... Well, I, I don't know, because my boxes I probably wear quite low, but then I put, like, something on over them so you don't see. Yeah, I think... But then you pull up swimming... I think you've... Maybe you're wearing your swimming trunks too low, Liam. It's, well, it doesn't matter Your pubes now. shouldn't be poking out the top. I shaved them all off, so you can't That's see That's fine, them. but... Well, that does matter, because you still might be wearing them ridiculously low. No, it's fine. I, sh- I shaved I, it off and it was all okay. good. Also, it's not just my pubes. Like, I have quite a hairy belly anyway. Yeah, but that so... doesn't count. If your hairy belly's poking out, that doesn't count. No, I know, but it just looked a bit questionable, so I just had to shave it all. Um, and then the other thing that I figured out when you get out of a pool all of the water and stuff just kind of like falls off of you right and then you, your trunks kind of just stick to you yeah and people can just see everything yeah I didn't I didn't realise that was a thing yeah didn't like it just wear what just wear black swimming trunks mine are quite dark but you're, you're you fine, still though. people won't know people don't people won't notice is the thing Liam Oh, they, they Trust struggle. me, no one. When they you struggle climb out of not pool, to notice. I'm picturing, I'm picturing you climbing out of a pool, mate. And yeah. trust me, there is nothing more, like least, att- least less attractive to watch than a half blind man crawling out of a pool and then sort of staring at his dick in <laughs> shock, <laughs> with with that pubes is... poking out everywhere. Well, no, the pubes were gone, but the rest is pretty accurate. Um, I also figured out, like the first couple of weeks I went, um, you meant to take like a towel into the pool area with you. Yeah, this is a weird thing that your pool does. I've never been at a pool that does this. Yeah, so you don't drip all over the changing rooms. Cause... I, get, I get the logic. It makes sense because like, changing rooms are shit yeah. when they're covered in water. But it's but, just a weird thing that I've never seen. But yeah, I mean, basically I've been on a big activity kick and I started swimming and we went for a hike and we went for a cycle and I enjoyed those things. Not everyone that came with did. I just can't wait for your activity kick to end. Why is that? I think it would just be more relaxing for everyone. Yeah, but hasn't it been good, though? Some bits, yeah. What What was the highlight? I don't know. Oh, what, was the, what was the best bit of the weekend? Of this weekend? Yeah. Uh, watching both Feast films. That was the highlight? Yeah. Shit, that was not a good weekend. <laughs> it was a bad weekend, mate. No, oh, I don't know. 
I always enjoy the board game bit. That's always a good bit. It is, but what about the the whole being outside? I like being outside. It's not the best bit. That's ludicrous. Sitting down with my friends and playing Mysterium was my favourite bit of it. That was actually quite good. Exactly. It's a good game. But I think we need to find other active things to do. Okay, that's fine. We'll do some more active stuff. I'm thinking maybe rock climbing. I refuse to go rock climbing. Why? I don't like rock climbing. Why? I have a weird fear of heights that only happens if I have to climb something. That's not a joke, and it sounds weird, but I genuinely... I can abseil. Love abseiling. I cannot make myself climb up like rock climbing walls. What if it was an indoor one? No, it wouldn't matter. I freeze up. That's weird. I just won't I won't go. It's just a waste of everyone's time. And I don't have a good time because I just go to the... I've had before. There was this game. Like, you know, PGL? Yeah, yeah. Parents get lost. <laughs> Is that what... It, what does it actually stand for? I don't know. That's, that what, what, that's what we were told it stood for. I hated it, by the way. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm not a massive fan of that kind of thing. But we, we went to one. But uh, for American listeners, PGL is like an activity thing for kids. Yeah. Like, you know, and they sort of, they do rock climbing and stuff at some of them and that sort of shit. Uh, we did one, and one of the activities we did was this. You stood on a milk crate. Yeah. You had to jump up, put a milk crate underneath you, and land on it and stay balanced. Oh, that sounds hard. And you were, you were all wired up and stuff, so it was, you know, all safe and whatever. Right, yeah. Uh, I got about too high. And then froze and she looked at the person and went, I can't do it. And they went, oh, have a try. And I was like, no, I've done two. I don't like it. Get me the fuck off these milk crates. <laughs> like, and there is nothing more depressing than being at an activity thing and just being like, I'm too scared to carry on doing this. And it's not even a bit where being scared is reasonable. To be fair, I had that at a similar thing. Yeah. Where they did like, they basically did like cave exploring, but it was like, it was a shit cave, but I just got in my head about it and... Just thought, I don't want to be crushed in a cave, so I just refuse to do it. Yeah, no, that's fair. I, I, I get that, because I have that with things. Like, caves I can do, but I can't climb up stuff. It just makes me freeze up. That's weird. It's weird, and you know you're safe is the other thing. Like, you're all tied up and shit, yeah, yeah, yeah. but my body just will not do it. I would like to do um, a Segway at some point. It's not particularly active, but they're fun. Yeah, they're expensive as well, though. That's the thing. Um, I was surprised anyway. at how reasonably priced hiring bikes was. Yeah, it actually was a good price. Yeah. Um, anything else to catch up with? Nope, think that's me. There you go. Listeners, you've been caught up with Ellie and Liam.